All right, well, Amy is off dirt biking up American Fork on the Ridge Trail. I am going to do the Timpanogos Cave Hike, mile and a half up, mile and a half down, about 1100 vertical. Pretty cool little area starting here, going up, switching back. Looks like there's an entrance and an exit, but the cave is not open, but it should be a fun hike. Out in shaded, shaded trees and eventually it's going to open up to some open granite. There are multiple areas painted with red and yellow that are rock fall areas but obviously rocks can fall anytime anywhere. These are just higher concentration. And one of the many tight switchbacks on the trail here. There's the information site and parking area. And of course this goes up towards Tibble Fork Reservoir. Came to this fun little tunnel here. Quarter of the way it says. After you come through that little gated tunnel, a nice warped cliffs view. There's that lower arch we just went through. And another good view of the mountains across. And atop these uh, fence markers are these cute little rocks they stacked up to kind of mimic the warped rocks all around here. Nice view, the edge of the ochres. This is a pretty neat feature they have in multiple areas for people to check their fitness. Gives them the uh, age, beats per minute, where you should be, where you shouldn't be, because it only gets harder as you go. Have a nice overlook here of the valley down there. And at this point in time, we're hitting all the switchbacks, so a bit more altitude gain from the first half of the hike. So yeah, should be getting good. Another section of higher rockfall than normal. And there's where it runs to. All right, so we're near the cave entrance. And unfortunately, I would have learned this below if it was open. No large backpacks or tripods because you have narrow slots to go through apparently and they don't want you touching the walls, which makes sense. So knowing that in advance now, I would bring a smaller bag with a camera in it and probably the GoPro. Interestingly enough, they do have a box here to put backpacks and hard frame child carriers because they're not allowed in the caves, which is pretty nice for those people that didn't learn that on the way up. And here's the restrooms as they list last chance. Overlooking the valley really well. And the cave entrance is coming up. Uh, chain link guardrail fence on the exposed side. Everything else has just had a chain over on this side, but it switches back numerous times below. As you can see. So it's probably for catching people as well. I do definitely appreciate the guardrails there. As you can see, it's... And finally, entrance to the cave area when it is open, which it isn't. We have gone up roughly 1100 vertical and one and a half miles. So a pretty good huff for sure. And there's your sweet view down the valley towards Pleasant Grove. And those are some of the caves that are locked off. The main cave entrance I believe is over here. And this is the sitting and waiting area.
This is about the only taste of the caves I will get today or anybody else. Pretty cool though. Nice little informational here. Many different rooms and names as you go through. Looks pretty cool. Really neat information. 1,800 feet long of cave that you go through. So that's pretty exciting. And average temperature is 45 degrees inside. So typically you need to bring something a little warmer than just your shorts and t-shirt. Because it does take a little bit to get through as well. Multiple rooms and yeah, pretty neat place. Watching this, I hope it informed you somewhat. Even though uh, Tipanogos Cave isn't opened, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. We've got a lot more adventures and a lot more, hopefully, informative van life things you can learn that we've already been learning and we will learn. So, thanks again.